going on everybody this is island hopper tv coming to you from starbase texas if you look right behind me you can see where the spacex launch pad is this here is boca chica all right here we go from the deep south the midwestern south what i consider to be the butt of america down here in brownsville when i say the butt it's basically right there in the middle of america and it's not the greatest place, but hey, this is where Elon Musk is building the uh, SpaceX launch pads. Now, the reason that SpaceX is choosing this location for Starbase is because it's actually easier to get into orbit the closer you are to the equator. And this part of America is actually as far south as he could possibly get. I mean, you could go into Florida or maybe Hawaii, but because of other technicalities, he chose this location and it seemed to be logistically the best place for him. You guys can research exactly why he chose Boca Chica, Brownsville, for this location, but essentially, in a nutshell, that is why. The area being sparsely populated and also coastal plays a factor in his decision to move down here. Now, it is mostly a bayou swamp kind of area just south of South Padre Island, literally uh, five to 10 minutes as the crow flies across the border, you're into Mexico from this location. Now driving by the actual facility, you do see some rockets sitting on launch pads, depending on what time you're there. They may even be doing a launch. Uh, there are also uh, makeshift facilities that are being built. The area is very much under construction. You get this feeling that it's new and that it's a lot of temporary structures. There's even an Airstream park and small houses uh, right nearby where many of the engineers actually live. The best way I can explain Starbase as it is here in 2021 in the summertime is like a military base that's kind of being built right out of the ground. I mean, it's not any modern facilities nearby, no modern housing, no hotels. The closest town, Brownsville, is about 20 to 35 minutes away depending on traffic and the road has potholes on the way out to Starbase. So this is one of two SpaceX launch pad facilities. I don't know exactly what this one is and the other one, but you can see right here, it says SpaceX on the sign. Lots of activity, construction, building, and people uh, preparing what appears to be a launch pad right here. Now I know you guys really want me to go inside the actual compound, but that was not permissible. Uh, we talked to the security guard and he said, you can film outside the actual location, but not go inside. And so we had to respect the wishes, not filming anything inside there. If you do go to SpaceX, this here area in Boca Chica, uh, you may be able to go inside, but I don't think you'll be able to bring cameras. So don't even think about it. <laughs> But don't worry, there is much more to the actual compound than having to go inside because there are little communities that are popping up. I talked about the Airstream Park that's actually popping up, which you guys will see here later on in this tour guide. I uh, will go through some of the communities and show you Boca Chica Village. And as you can see, there is a beach down here. Now, I wouldn't swim in that water. It doesn't look very appealing, but uh, you know, if you don't mind stingrays or jellyfish, then go for it. You can see we're down here on the ocean. This is actually the delta for the Rio Grande. So Boca Chica is a natural preserve and right next to there is where they're building the uh, SpaceX launch pads to go to Mars. Uh, as you can see, this is the ocean on the Gulf of Mexico. Very murky, dirty brown water. No one wants to even come down here, uh, but this is where they're building Starbase. So what we'll do now is we'll actually drive over where Boca Chica Village is, show you guys the Airstream mobile homes that they have set up, those small humble abodes for the engineers. Kind of like what you would see on an army base or an air force encampment. Uh, who knows, maybe one of these little ranch homes is actually where Elon Musk himself stays. I don't know, I'd like to protect his privacy so I don't want to guess or speculate. 
I'm sure he's uh, got some security around him, but uh, you could see the homes that are down here where engineers and other officials probably have taken up residence. Now, they have had to buy some of the land off of locals for extremely high prices. The locals held out and they asked for big dollars. Before SpaceX arrived here, people here were actually uh, using this as a winter escape, a winter destination for snowbirds. And this is that location where all of those airstreams are lined up. I think it's uh, pretty humble beginnings for SpaceX based on what I can see considering what these engineers are creating and doing by taking uh, these rockets to orbit and onto Mars. I mean, to start out here in the southern part of Texas like this, quite amazing. So what I want to do now is take you guys over to Brownsville, which is the closest big city out here near Starbase. Like I said, it's around, uh, yeah, let's just say 30 minutes away, uh, considering the potholes and traffic and all that stuff. Uh, there is an international airport that you will see along the way uh, in between uh, Starbase and Brownsville. So that's good. It's centrally located. Most of the hotels. They are out of town and they have been building some hotel infrastructure, but like I said, it's still quite a ways away considering the road is a very country rural road to get out there. And there is no uh, hotels or uh, food, even gas stations near Starbase yet. Uh, like I said, yet. I'm sure it's coming soon. But this is Brownsville for you. As you can see, it's not really uh, built up. It's not like Silicon Valley or uh, New York City or any major metropolis that you would expect such a big operation to be taking place, but that's okay. And I'll tell you a little bit more about Brownsville. It was named after Jacob Brown and it was originally called Fort Brown. It was founded in 1848. It does sit on the border with Mexico. so. Uh, this was a major location on the Rio Grande during the Mexican-American War and Brownsville essentially was established as a trade center for Southern Texas. Like I said, right across the border, you go right over the Rio Grande and you are in Mexico. The best way I can explain the Rio Grande and this area of Boca Chica is by basically calling it what it is. It's the Rio Grande River Delta as the Rio Grande pours in to the Gulf of Mexico. That's probably why the water is so murky is because this is essentially a river delta for one of the biggest rivers in the United States, the Rio Grande. Now the population of Brownsville is around 182,000 people, but if you include the entire metropolitan area, it's upwards of 420,000 people. So. It's not the smallest city, not the biggest city, but uh, definitely already established area. Now it is interesting that they're going to be building Starbase outside of Brownsville, so 
don't fall too much in love with Brownsville because where they're building Starbase is further out in the wetlands. Although I will say, as of right now, there is no definitive answer for where exactly that location for Starbase will be. And this here is actually a look at one of the border crossings over the Rio Grande. You can see the border patrol outposts and whatnot right here along this area. They actually have parks on this side. So lots of parks up and down the river area. And actually, if you go across the border, you end up in a town in Mexico called Matamoros. And that urban population uh, in the area of Borderplex, if you wanna call it that, Matamoros and Brownsville, the total population is 1.4 million people. So it's kind of a big area if you include uh, across the border. So, uh, you know, this is a big area really if you have both sides. It's actually the fourth largest borderplex metropolitan area 